Yan guys, bali for this video naman, we will be discussing naman different kinds of matrix operations. Uh, mainly addition, subtraction, and multiplication. multiplication. Uh, I'll just also cover some how to get the transpose of a matrix. Yeah. Uh, in terms of matrix addition and subtraction, we need first to consider or kailangan mo natin i-make sure na all the values, all, all the values or all the rows and columns are equal. Ano po yung ibig sabihin? Uh, the dimension of matrix A, para ma-add mo siya sa matrix B, should be equal. Kung gano'n kadami yung rows sa matrix A, gano'n din kadami yung rows sa matrix B. Or, generally speaking, the dimension of the two matrix should be identical. Kung siya ay 3 by 3, uh, 4 by 3, 2 by 2, so on and so forth. Basta pareha sila ng dimension. Uh, in terms of addition and subtraction, siya naman ay, you could say, uh, a basic kind of matrix computation or we just add each cell na, na siya ay parehas yung position or for example is cell 11 one plus cell 11 one one is the new cell 11 one one. cell for example this one cell cell 32 plus cell 32 is equivalent to the new cell 32 or you could say this one plus this one is equivalent to the value or this one is, sorry, this one plus this one is equivalent to the value. Ulitin natin. Cell 1 plus cell 1 is equivalent to the value. Or this value or cell 1, 2, or sorry, cell 2, 1, uh, dahil sa IM times N times n. Right. Cell 2, 1 is equivalent to 4 plus 4. This value is 6 plus 6. Yan. Siya ay more on adding lang. Yan. Same as well with the subtraction. Subtraction is this value minus matrix P. Kung yun yung operation. But if the operation is if the operation is MB minus MA magiging baliktad siya. Di ito, minus ito. So on and so forth. Or we could say, this one is cell this cell minus this cell. And or we can just solve it all. Yeah. This is the difference of this and this. This is the difference of this cell and this cell. Yeah. So on and so forth. Uh, we could now have the the answer of the addition and the subtraction of two matrices. What is the difference of addition and subtraction to multiplication? In terms of multiplication, we need first to check the dimension. Yeah. We need first to check each dimensions. Ano yung kailangan natin sa ano yung ating kailangan check sa kanya? For us to check it, we need to consider first yung ating solve. Uh, for example, M1 times N1 times M2 times N2 or matrix, first matrix times the second matrix is the new matrix. Uh, note, you can only multiply a matrix or two matrix if N1 and M2 are equal. And the product of two the two matrix have the dimension of M1 times N2. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Medyo nakakalito. Dapat daw, yung value ng M1 at N2 M, N1 at M2 ay equal para sa ating pwedeng i-multiply. Pag hindi sa pwedeng yung pag hindi sa magkaiba o kung hindi sa magkaparehas, hindi natin sa pwedeng i-multiply. Tapos ang magiging result daw natin ay M1 and N2. Ano ibig sabihin? For example, look at this one. Siya ay 3 by 4 times 4 by 2 matrix. As you could see, yung N1 at M2 niya ay equal, parehas 4. So, ano yung magiging sagot natin? Our answer would be a 3 by 2 3 by 2 matrix. Diba? Another example. Paano naman kapag ang matrix natin is yan. Yan. Kapag ang matrix natin is 7 by 5 times 5 by 5, ang ating magiging matrix na bago ay 7 by 5. Diba? Kasi siya yung M, M1 at N2. 
But if ever na ang ating example is 7 by 7 at 5 by 7, uh, we could not compute it or we could not get the product of two matrix, the two matrix kasi hindi magkaparehas yung kanilang hindi magkaparehas ang kanilang N1 at M2. Basta always make sure muna that the values of your M N1 and M2 are equal for, for us to solve it. After checking, after natin ma-check kung siya ay equal, we could now proceed with the computation. Uh, I, have, I have provided two, two different kinds of computations here or two different kinds of matrix example para mas maintindihan natin. So, could see here, meron tayong first matrix is we, we need to get matrix C uh, computation of matrix C is equivalent to a matrix A times matrix B daw. For us to get matrix C, we need to get matrix A times matrix B. Uh, uh, if I will, if I, I personally compute for the multiplication using this method, I will be putting matrix A here and I will be put, putting matrix B above. Na siya ay naka-diagonal position. Uh, para makita ko kung ano yung magiging new matrix. As you can see, siya ay naka-align dito at ito ay naka-align dito. Ano yung importance niya? If you will be solving a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 1 matrix, for example, sa 2 by 3 at 3 by 1, we could consider ito yung ating 3 by 1, ito yung ating 2 by 3. Makikita na natin na ang sagot nating matrix ay 2 by 1. Ah, ito. Ito yung 2 by 1. This, this way of solving uh, confirms the methodology of or the concept of our rule. Kapag multiply ito, si 3 by 1 kay 2 by 3, we could get an equivalent value of 2 by 1. 2 by 1 matrix. How could we solve it? Initially, for you to solve Z, for you to solve Z, you need to get, para din, kaya din ganito yung way ng solving, is for us to easily see kung ano yung pagmumultiplyan para hindi nakakalito. For you to get Z, just create an imaginary rectangle here and an imaginary rectangle here. Saan siya gagamitin siya? For you to get Z, you need to get the sum of product or the sum of product. Paano siya gagawin? Mumultiply mo yung first value here sa first value dito sa taas plus yung, yung product ng 4 times 2 at yung product ng 6 times 3. Ibig sabihin, 1 times 1, 1 times 1, plus 4 times 2, or 2 times 4, plus 6 times 3. Gawin natin itong 4 times 2, para hindi nakakalito. Yan. Diba? And, paano naman sir isosolve si 2, 1? Si 2, 1, or si W? The, if you will be creating another diagonal line, or sorry, a horizontal box, and this one naman siya, kasi yun yung katapat niya eh, diba? You will now multiply 6 times 6, 4 times 5, and 1 times 4. Diba? For you to get the, num the value of the W. And the Y, for example, si Y naman, paano isosolve si Y? Uh, doon naman natin siya itapat. E di, ito naman yung uh, values na pagkukumpute natin. Ang formula niya is, a times 1, diba? Ang magiging bagong formula niya is A times 1 plus 5 times 2 and 6 times 3. Ah, so on and so forth. Kaya, may way, ang way for solving this one, uh, you may have other methods in solving it. You may use your own method. You could see other methods on the internet, on the books. Yan. Uh, I will be providing this kind of computation because I see it more easier and less less uh, sa confusion. Then, you will be solving it so on and so forth para makuha natin yung mga values nila. Isa-isa. After computation, we could see J is 27. Kasi ito yung formula. Uh, w is 60. And y is 50. Yan. Paano sir, isosolve ito? Di itatapat mo lang siya. You could use an imaginary or on your own. By imagining, I'm just creating squares para madali siya matandaan. 
pero hindi naman necessary na kailangan yung gawin sa mga rectangles. E di siya 8 times 4 plus 5 times 5 plus 6 times 6. Paano sir ito isol? Itong isang to. E di ito naman yung magkatapat. 8 times 7 plus 5 times 8 plus 6 times 9. Paano naman sir isol yung ito? Tapat natin. As indicator, 7 times 1 plus 8 times 2 plus 9 times 3. So on and so forth. Ito naman. 7 times 4 plus 8 times 5 plus 9 times 6. Sunod. Ito naman. 7 times 7 plus 8 times 9. Sorry. 8 times 8 times 9 times 9. Yun yung magiging sagot dito. Or, we could consider the values after solving. Ang mga values niya ay... Wait lang, palakihin natin siya para hindi siya na, para makita natin. Yan. This is the value or the answer of, this is our matrix C. Uh, this is the product of matrix A and matrix B. Yan. Paano naman itong padalawa? How would we solve this one? Uh, medyo... Different na siya kasi hindi na siya parehas na 3 by 3. Siya ay 2 by 3 times 3 by 1. Paano natin siya ngayon isosolve? Same as well lang din sa kanina. For us to solve this value, tapat lang natin siya kung saan row at column siya connected. 1 times 1 plus 4 times 2 plus 7 times 3. Siya equivalent sa 30. Pa? Then, lastly is, in last row natin, siya ay 1 times 7 plus 4 times 8 plus 7 times 9. Uh, if we will be solving that using our calculators, we could get it as 102. Meaning to say, this is our final answer on our first problem. This is our final answer on our second problem. Ang ating matrix dito ay 2 by 2, ay sorry, 2 by 1 at ang matrix natin dito ay 3 by 1. Ayan. I hope you understand how to solve it using this way or if you want to find better ways or easier ways to solve this, it's, it could be good. But I, I could see this way or this method the easiest in, try, in solving matrix multiplication. Yeah. Bali. After we conducted addition, subtraction, and multiplication, uh, I will be introducing you how to transpose a matrix. Ano naman po yung matrix transposition? Uh, a matrix, a transpose matrix daw is equivalent to the original matrix, but the rows and columns are interchanged. What do you mean, sir, by the rows and columns is interchanged? Uh, yung dating rows ay naging columns na, at yung dating columns is naging rows na. If you will be asked, what is the transpose matrix of matrix A, you'll just create all the columns rows and you'll just transform all rows to columns. Meaning, ang ating row 1 ngayon ay yung dating column 1. 1, 2, 3. Ito. Yung dating nating, yung ating row 2 ngayon ay yung dating column 2 or 4, 5, 6. Then yung dating nating column 3 is our row 3 na. Or 7, sorry, 7, 8, Let's say, for example, you will be having another matrix of, let's create different values. And, and. What, for us to get the, the transpose matrix of this matrix, we could get it by removing or by creating a new matrix na yung dating row ay column na ngayon. Yung dating row ay column na ngayon. Or yung dating column ay row na. They will be interchanged. Meaning, our transpose matrix of matrix B is equivalent to 5, 1, 7, 8, 2, and 3. And lastly is 0, 6, and 8. Yeah. Meaning to say, if, if, if there is a problem to get Matrix C, for example, we need to find matrix C. And the formula of matrix C, the formula of matrix C 
is equivalent to matrix A times matrix B transpose. Yeah. So, for example, matrix A is equivalent to matrix A times matrix B times transpose. Meaning, we will be solving it using multiplication by considering matrix A diba? matrix A times matrix B transpose. Yan. Kagaya nung ginawa natin kanina. Diba? O, paano natin siya ngayon multiply? Ano yung ating siya? 3 by 3, 3 by 3. We could consider it as a 3 by 3 matrix also. Diba? Kagaya nung ginagawa natin kanina. Yan. Then, for us to solve it, is ito is equivalent sa ito times ito plus ito times ito plus ito times ito so on and so forth we could now create a new 3 by sorry 3 by 3 na matrix now this could be considered as the product of matrix A and matrix B transpose uh, I hope you understand these operations of matrix operations and and I, I am hope that we will be using it or lagi nyo siyang tatandaan kasi we will be using it on the following topics na discuss pa natin. Thank you guys!